start off. To, let, let, let's let's go back into into high school, man. What what was what was the recruiting process like for you and and um, and the journey just coming into college football? So um, I blew up. I say I got my first two offers my sophomore year in high school, um, and then my junior year is when I really blew up. Um, I got um, like twenty plus offers after my junior season, and. Elko and Jimbo came to my basketball practice, and that's when they offered me. So I took a visit down there, and um, I just fell in love like with the um, people, the place. Everyone was friendly there. Um, I feel like I was at home. Obviously, Elko was a good, like, good defensive coordinator. Um, Wake Forest. Um, he was at Bowling Green before at Notre Dame. So I just seen his resume and seeing how he um, had successful defenses, and so him and Jimbo just like made me. Um, Feel like it was a good reason to pick AM. I love that. I love that. How, and how how do you how do you look back on 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 A and M? Your some of your favorite memories as well. Um, I feel like um, it really turned out um, made me like a good player, good person. Um, I'd say it turned me into a man. I didn't know what to expect when I got there, but um, overall, it was like a good um, a good experience and good um, program, um, good education. But like I said, I didn't win like I um, would expect. It. I, I wanted to there, but like I said, I got um, long life connections with my my teammates, um, the people there, alumni. Um, so it's like all those things made me choose and them. That's the reason I wanted to go there, and um, I have I definitely have some great memories um, playing in the games at and with the teammates, um, going through long off season workouts. Um, like I said, so just overall my experience at and was very good. I'm, I couldn't be happier. Um, I wouldn't want to choose any other school besides a &M. I love that. I love that. Any gems Coach Elko or Coach Fisher gave you along the way that really stuck with you that you're taking with you? Um, yeah, El like Elko taught me really everything, mostly everything I know about defense. Um, um, he really just pushed me as a player. Jimbo was a great coach, genu genuine coach. Um, they both just pushed me to be the player I am today, so I'm very like thankful for both of them and um, the player they um, made me today. I love that. I love that. Who are some of your favorite football players growing up? And we we could go DBs, we could go safeties, corners, but you you break it down. We go offense if we need to as well. Yeah, so I used to be I used to be a running back. So um, Adrian Peterson, I was, I feel like he was like the biggest one I can remember. Um, Derwin James right now, Troy Polamalu, um, Ed Reed, um, Lawrence Taylor. Um, so all those safeties, um, of course, I study um, and watch those Brian Dawkins, all those guys. I just study. Um, I like the intensity they bring each and every down, um, how hard they hit, the way they um, always make them play in the right moment. So all those guys, um, somebody, some the, or some some of the players I watch. I love that. I love that. And you, and it, you know. Guys that you like to cut the film on and just learn from, or, or take take things from their game, or just study, see what's going on. Who are some of those guys that actively that you know you like to watch film on? They're playing right. They're playing right yep. now. Or um, I'll say um, Booty Buda Baker, um, Derwin James. Like I said, um, who are some other guys? Um, I like Jalen Ramsey. He's a. Um, I feel like he's a corner that can play safety if he wanted to. He's a really good cover guy. Has really good technique. Um, who else is in the lead? Um, There's a lot of guys that a lot of guys that make plays. The Bill safety, um, Corey and John over there. Um, they can they can play DB. They can tackle. Um, they can cover. They can do everything. They make plays on the ball, cause turnovers. So um, all those guys I um, study and watch as the game is going on, and like I go back and watch like um, highlights of them just to try to like take some pieces of their game so I can um, add them to mine. I love that. I love that. And, you know, one of your teammates as well here at the uh, East West Shrine Bowl is, you know, getting talked about a lot uh, for, you know, for linebackers. Just what was it like to, to play with Edric Cooper and just what can you let the people know about his game? Um, I'll just say um, he's a player that's, um, if a play is coming to him, he's going to make it. And if he has to go make it, he's going to make it. So if he's blitzing. Um, I just know he's, the play is going to get made. If he's covering somebody, I just know. He, the person is going to be covered. So um, he's a fast, physical guy. Um, he's funny. You know, he's goofy, but he's always going to be doing his job. And he's a um, great person um, and an um, excellent teammate. And your game, if I could ask you to do your self-scouting report, you know, your your best traits, things that, that you bring to a ball club, what 
what would you say those things are? Um, I would say I'm very um, instinctive, um, smart. Um, I get people. Um, and make, I make sure like every, the whole defense is on the same page. Um, physical, um, can cover. Um, this I'm very versatile, so I can. I feel like I can do everything on the field. Um, like I said, I'm physical, fast, and I'm a um, great leader when it comes to uh, being on the football field. All right, I got one more serious one for you and then a fun one. The state of your Aggies, how do you feel about the future and, and, and Coach Elko? How do you, are you excited for to watch your guys? Oh, take, sure. take. Like, I, I can't wait to see them play next year. And, um, I want to expect nothing but SEC, SEC championship. I, that's what I expect out of them with Elko, um, all the talent they have there. So. Um, he's a great coach. The people, the coaches he have around him seem like great coaches too. So um, I expect nothing but big things from him and the coaching staff there right now. I love it. I love it. All right. And it's, it's very likely you're on two video games. We've got the NCAA game finally coming out, allegedly. And we've got Madden, all right? So you're going to be on Madden. First off, how does that feel? And what is the one trait that they got to get right? Whether it's features, characteristics, ratings, what do they got to get right? Um, so first of all, um, I really hope I'm on um, a cop NCAA. Um, that would be cool just to be on that because they haven't been out since 2014. Um, and the thing I feel like they have to get right is my rating. Um, I feel like that's most important. People people can clown you about that. The overall, the overall rating? Yeah, overall rating for sure. So people can clown you about that and it will be just um, just like not having people clown me and I have a, I have an okay rating, I'll be good. Everything else is all right. I love it. I love it. All right. In, in, in NCAA, what are we doing? Are we running? Are we running Aggies Dynasty mode, what, Road to Glory. What are we doing? Uh, yeah, probably Road to Glory with the, with the Aggies and myself. Probably up. get a safety on there. Obviously, me. Um, just um, I don't know. I do. I I have a whole a whole bunch of things I can do on the game. All right. Well, best of luck in this process, man. Keep the grind going, man. I really appreciate the time. Yes, sir.